So this Welsh shoe been scanned with twins, you can see. That's the first of the lambs, and I'll be honest, that was a bit of a bit of a challenge. So only one foot forward, and one back still. Um, so that little guy had to go back in and then come out again. Um, quite a lot of help, actually. It's quite a big lamb for a twin. But, um, Breathing okay. Yeah, weird groovy bit. Oh, come on then. Not the most gentle entry into the world, Meh. but in the world nevertheless. Things breathing and mum's washing him and that should stimulate him. Or her, I don't think. Meh. It's a big lamb for a twin though, but apparently there's another one. Just pulled the lamb back in a bit. Mm -hmm. Better settle down for a bit. I'm gonna have a look at this one. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's flows, Sid's you, just lambing. Check that the feet are the right way round. Yeah. So we'll just leave her be for a little bit. She might want to lamb it on her own, if not we can give her some help. Little lamb next to us. Inquisitive. <laughs> she's super quite funny. She's obviously midway through lambing and she's just decided to stop for a snack. Haven't you, my darling? Sheep aren't really like people. They pretty much eat the whole way through. Say again? Distraction. Maybe, yeah. You're a bit nervous, Sid. A bit. <laughs> like an expectant father. <laughs> Do they breathe fast? Yeah, they breathe fast when they're having them. So Flo's lamb, single lamb, is about twice the size of the single lamb in the pen next to her that was born this morning. So it's a few hours older and about half the size. This well shoe's just come to here with her twins, which is quite nice. So we've got sheep everywhere at the moment. Oh, hello. One of the few Welsh mountain sheep we've got that's relatively tame, actually. Got some quite nice lambs as well. Best set of twins so far, to be honest. She's actually doing quite a nice job with the pair of them. Those are blackbirds. 
Ooh, that's a good question. Blackbird's got good twins. Very colourful. But blackbirds are only a few days old, so yeah. I've kind of forgotten about them. Should we go and have a look, see if we can see them? I think they're down here. So Blackbird is our black pedigree Shetland ewe, and she always has really pretty lambs. This year, like last year, she's had twins. This year she's got twin ram lambs. Last year she had a ram lamb and a ewe lamb. But really pretty sheep. Hello. Hello. So we have literally got sheep everywhere at the moment. I don't know, there's a lamb behind that ewe. I don't know if you can quite see it really. I think that you. Yeah. Oh no, number eight. So you can see we put numbers on our sheep. So paint number eight there on the ewe and number eight on the lamb. So we know those two go together. Not so critical in the shed, but really helpful later on when we're in the, um, in the field. Blackbird is actually the only one that hasn't got a paint number. She should have a purple number on her, but obviously it wouldn't really show up on a black one. And the lambs are black as well, so um, we haven't bothered. But they're the only black lambs we've got so far, so should be okay. This is Lucky. She actually lost her lamb, so that's actually not her lamb. It was um, the Molly lamb we got off another ewe. Um, so we adopted it onto her, but she's quite happy with him now. Nice little guy, really rather curious. Not the biggest lamb, but you see one of multiples, so he'll grow though. So we've had, yeah, that's quite big. Nice lamb. So we've had four lambs born so far today. So this ewe's got two. One, two. You see their Texel Cross um, lambs off a mountain, uh, Badger Face Mountain. And then this ewe scans with twins, but only had one so far. So we reckon she's another hour or two off the second one, hopefully. And this sheep had a single. That was today as well, that was this morning. And then Flo's literally just had one, you can see it's still wet. She's drying off her head. His or her head, I'm not sure which. We need We do need to check in a bit, let her wash it first. Yeah. But yeah, so she's just washing this at the moment. We'll put some iodine on its navel in a bit. <laughs> we'll check if it's a boy or a girl. But nice little lamb, well, big lamb actually. So yeah. Uh, Five sheep so far, and this one has got twins, or scanned with twins, so may well be six by the end of the day. Hello. <laughs> you seem quite smiley. I am smiley. How's reason to smile? What's that? Are you very pleased? You've been quite nervous, haven't you? Because she's been so big and only carrying a single. Yeah. And to be fair, it is a very big lamb, but we, we were here at the right time and we, yeah, we, got you know, we, the right we gave her the help she needed. Excellent. sachet of plostrum so we've warmed up 100 ml of milk on the dashboard of the truck with the truck heater. Um, his mum's not got a lot of plostrum from what I can see. She's had twins. Um, he's the first or she's the first possibly. Um, she's just had a second lamb. Really difficult for each birth. I've just had to, well, been ages trying to help her to be honest. Um, but the lamb was dead so we're just, just going to fill this one's belly up so he's good for the night and then um, put him back with the, the ewe and hopefully as he milks her a bit her milk will kick in a bit but at least I know he's got a full belly for the night. <laughs> <laughs> 